One of the CFDE gene partnership project's goals was harmonizing gene-centric knowledge across all common fund DCCs. The CFDE gene partnership aperture was developed to collate and serve knowledge about human genes using the APIs available from various common fund DCCs. From the home page of the aperture, users can input a single gene or variant of interest. Currently, the aperture supports all human genes. The aperture first resolves all identifiers for the gene using the mygene.info service. From there, several DCC APIs are queried for fetching available gene-centric knowledge and producing a report. First, the GTEx database, which contains non-diseased tissue-specific gene expression samples from over 50 tissues collected from about 1,000 post-mortem individual donors, is queried to identify tissues where the input gene is highly expressed. The gene is also searched against the Lynx L1000 signature database, which consists of over 1 million perturbational signatures generated by applying about 30,000 preclinical small molecules and approved drugs to 10 core human cell lines, as well as about 7,000 single gene knockout perturbations followed by gene expression. Here, the gene is queried against a subset of those signatures to identify single gene CRISPR knockouts and small molecules that maximally up or down regulate the expression of the input gene across various human cell lines. While the APIDR focuses mainly on human genes, the International Mouse Phenotyping Consortium, API, is called to provide additional knowledge about mouse phenotypes observed when the gene is knocked out in a mouse, which could provide further insight into the function of the gene. Additionally, the Glygen API provides glycosylation data for the gene from a database containing glycoscience-related knowledge retrieved from multiple literature and website sources. Associated regulatory elements can be queried from the XRNA Linked Data Hub, which carries information on genetic variants. Associated cell types are extracted from HubMap, which is dedicated to mapping the human body at the single cell level. The Metabolomics Workbench MetGene API retrieves knowledge from a database of metabolite analyses and provides information on pathways and reactions catalyzed by the protein that the gene gives rise to if it is part of a metabolic pathway. Finally, the APIDR also provides secondary information from data repositories, such as disease associations for the gene from Pharos, a knowledge base consisting of aggregated data for understudied GPCRs, ion channels, and kinases, as well as associations between the gene and other biological entities from Harmonizome, which contains standardized data sets of gene function associations extracted and processed from 66 resources. Both platforms, Pharos and Harmonizome, were developed by the IDG KMC. Tissue expression data from the ARCHIS-4 database is also provided. ARCHIS-4 has uniformly processed experiments from NCBIGO. Protein function data is fetched from the Unipro database of protein sequence and functional information. The APIDA retrieves all the information in the gene centric report dynamically by querying each DCC API. A link to the APIDA is integrated within the CFDE portal from the portal's gene pages. From the home page of the portal, users can navigate to the gene section, then select a gene to view. The link to the APIDA instance for that gene is listed in the Links to External Resources table and also highlighted in the statement below the table. The entire APIDR, including all outputs, can be shared via a unique URL. The APIDR can also run locally using a doctoring container or be downloaded as a standalone Jupyter notebook to be shared, re-executed, or modified. Users can thus customize a notebook to add or remove any gene-centric sources.